one. So the first thing I'm doing as usual is prepping the eyes for the shadows that are to come. You want to incorporate an eyeshadow primer into your routine because it'll help your shadows to glide onto the eyes nice and smoothly. It'll allow them to blend nice and easily and it'll ensure that they last all day long without creasing or smudging. As I mentioned last week, I was going through my palettes and I rediscovered some oldies. And it's another oldie with a goodie today that I'm busting out. I have an entire series of tutorials using this eyeshadow palette and they'll be linked in a playlist below if you want to check those out. But the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette is a really great palette. The shadows are lovely and pigmented and it's just a dream to work with. So the first shadow I'm taking is called Salted Caramel. It's a warm toned light brown eyeshadow and works perfectly as a transition shade. I want to add a nice wash of this into the crease and then onto the lid. So in a large area, which is why I'm using a big fluffy blending brush. Now you always want to make sure that when you dip your brush into the eyeshadow that you tap off the excess before you apply because as you've just seen, all that excess shadow that was sitting on the tips of the bristles would have fallen down my face when I started blending. So to avoid any mess, just tap off the excess. So I'm starting on the outer portion of the crease now using quick little back and forth sweeping motions to lay down the shadow and then using circular motions to buff the shadow across into the crease. Once I've then got that shadow placed down, I want to then use larger circular motions and windshield wiper motions just to kind of fade the shadow out up towards the brow bone. And then I just like to pick up some more shadow again. I add a second layer pretty much in the same way. Um, I apply and blend in the same way just to um, intensify the shadow. Then I'm using a small bullet shaped brush for the lower lash line to sweep the shadow down along there. And once I'm happy with that, then I'm going back in with my fluffy brush and I'm using this to diffuse the edges. So it's nice and pigmented then at the lash line where I want it to be and then it fades out from there. Next then I'm going in with the eyeshadow semi sweet and this is another warm toned brown, a medium shade this time with a matte finish. Because I want to use this um, to add some depth, I'm switching to a smaller blending brush this time so I can be a little bit more precise with my application. So as you can see, the brush fits more snugly in the crease, which is what I want when I'm defining the eye. I don't want to cover up the shade that I worked on previously. So once I've got the color laid down in the deepest part of my crease, then I'm using circular motions to fade it out and to blend it in with the light warm brown that I applied previously. And as usual, I'm going back in with another coating of the shadow just to make sure it's nice and intense. And I usually do a couple of layers, but you can apply it and build up um, the eyeshadow in as many layers as you want. Um, you'll know when you've achieved the desired level of intensity. So now I'm switching back to the bullet shaped brush and I'm adding that semi sweet shade down along the lower lash line. And the difference this time then is I'm just using the bullet shaped brush. I'm not using the fluffy brush because I don't want to blend this color down as far as the light brown. I want you to be able to see the gradient from light to dark. Next then, I'm taking Triple Fudge. Sticking with the same color family, it's a deep dark matte brown and I'm using the same blending brush as before and I'm adding this on the outer corner of the eyelid. So I'm just using little circular motions, buffing this on the lid, making sure I get right in at that lash line and then I make my way up to the crease. Again, keeping the shadows to the outer third. If you have close set eyes, um, this type of style of eyeshadow is going to be really flattering. So keeping the shadows nice and light and bright on the inner half of the lid and then extending the darker shades just to those outer corners, it's going to give your eyes a wider appearance. So now I'm using the little bullet shaped brush to apply it down along the lower lash line again. And by adding these three shadows in this manner, you've got the groundwork for any smoky eye. The shadows that I've used are like neutral, so you could use any color to coat the inner portion, be it purple, green, blue, whatever you like. You could do a half cut crease here. Your options are endless. Once you nail this part, you know, the world is your oyster. So now I'm going back in with this black liner. Um, it's from number seven and I'm using this one in particular because it's nice and creamy, which is really important because I'm going to be smudging the pencil out. So I'm lining it, um, the upper lash line using little strokes, making my way across the lash line and it'll look crazy initially. You know, just get the pencil down in any which way. You don't have to be neat. It doesn't have to be perfect because as I mentioned, we're gonna be smudging it out in a minute. So I'm just taking this little synthetic flat brush from Smashbox and I'm using this to smudge the pencil. Now I want to smudge it up gradually in the direction of the crease. So I'm using little downward tapping motions um, 
on the pencil and I'm making my way across the lash line little by little and I've just sped up the clips because it's repetitive it takes a little bit of time but all I'm doing is making those little downward strokes moving upwards as I go just to fade it out I want it to be darkest at the lash line fade up from there again it's all about adding gradient just to get that gradient effect so I'm going in now with this burgundy shade called cherry cordial on top I'm using a small seep shape brush to pat 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 the shadow onto the lid I'm only using a small brush because I just didn't have a larger clean one to hand obviously if you use a larger brush you're going to coat more of the lid space and it'll be done quicker than me here and um, but yeah I'm just patting this over the lid making sure I have a nice even coating I don't want any patchiness and once I'm happy then with how that looks I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm just sweeping into the crease so I don't want to have this harsh line where the burgundy stops at the lid and then you've got that brown in the crease I want to marry the two together I'm going back in now again with the number seven pencil and I'm lining the upper lash line as I've mentioned you don't have to be too precise because I'll be smoking this out again in a minute I want a really sultry smoky look to the eyes today kind of grungy because I think it looks cool particularly for the autumn winter so I'm picking back up that Smashbox brush now and unlike the last time I'm moving the brush from side to side as opposed to vertically and I'm doing this because I want to smudge out the liner but I want to keep it close to the lash line and um, I don't want to blend it upwards like the last time so then I'm using the pencil again to line my upper and lower waterline for the upper waterline I just find closing my eye around the pencil um, just makes that easy to do and um, I think it's the easiest way of coating the tight line um, and then I'm adding some of the kiss lashes in the style little black dress then I'm using whatever's left on the brush and I'm smudging the black slightly uh, onto the lower lash line I'm wriggling the brush into the lash bed on the outer portion of the eye and then I'm going in with champagne truffle which is a lovely highlight shade I'm using this to add a pop to around the tear duct of the eye with a little bullet shaped brush and then what I'm going to do is go in with my trusty wet and wild mascara the mega length mascara and I'm using this then to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and also not forgetting to coat the lower lash line as well but then that's it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow if you have any feedback um, please let me know I really really appreciate that I want to create looks that you want to see so do let me know and I will catch you all very soon